Alright, what is fucking up, y'all? Today we're here with a bit of a different video. I don't usually like to do these kinds of things just because, uh, they're kind of boring. But I think this is, uh, this is, this is a different scenario, right? So, for the PCP Finals, it is me versus Chris. We've come a long way over the season. We've beaten a lot of people. We lost once. It was some bullshit. I'm, I'm still upset about it, frankly. So, I do want to go in-depth this week for the finals with my team as well as the team that I predict Chris to bring. Now as you know, uh, me, Chris, and Pat, we usually all team build together, uh, test testies a little bit, you know, uh, usually run through some mock battles, but when you go against the person you team build with, it's a little complicated. So I'm going to use this as just a, just a point of reference to kind of like talk to myself basically. So just pretend you're Chris and just talk real cockney and fucking be a dick the whole time and it'll, it'll work just fine. <laughs> so, we'll start with what I'm bringing, right? So, first off, we have Sigilyph here. And I guess we should probably start off with Chris's Pokemon, huh? That'd probably be a good place to start. So, Chris has the Mega Metagross at 110 base speed. It, uh, you know what? I think it, if I'm going to read off his team, I guess we should we should start with his team. That's still my team. So yeah, he has, as his first pick, the Mega Metagross. At 110 base speed, this thing is fast as fuck. It outspeeds uh, pretty much all my Pokemon except for Dougie and... Uh, Dougie and Mega Beedrill, of course. So, last time, Chris... Chris and Pat are known for their, their wacky sets most of the time, so if I had to guess... I would think that he would want HP Fire on the one thing on his team that outspeeds Kartana. Now last time he just easily revenged me with a Vacuum Wave from Infernape, but you can never be too careful, and he still had HP Fire on fucking Sneasel anyways, and you know Mega Metagross actually has a reasonable special attack stat, so even with the, you know, Jolly Nature, it still does kill the fuck, it kills like six Kartanas. <laughs> Not really, but um, maybe if they're all lined up, they're pretty thin, you could probably just, yeah. But, um, I expect Thunder Punch for the Alamomola. Zen Headbutt isn't quite picking up the 2 hit KO, but Thunder Punch will. So I do expect the Thunder Punch to come, especially since I have, uh, Amastar as well. And then, uh, it'll hit Salamence neutrally, Victini neutrally, Sylveon neutrally, even though you're just gonna click Meteor Mash versus all those things, anyways. Or Earthquake, respectively. But I do expect something along these lines. I think if he's feeling feeling a little frisky, Hidden Power Fire is definitely coming. And then, uh, but these three are confirmed. This one is a little bit of a toss-up. Maybe he's going to run a bulky set with agility. I don't know. I don't know. But his second pick is a Zoomeral, which I don't think he'll bring just because I do have a Kartana, and I kind of just kill the shit out of it unless it's Sap Sipper. So if I see an Zoomeral, I'm going to assume that it is indeed Sap Sipper. And I'm just gonna smart strike it. I'm not. I'm. I'm not losing to a fucking like belly drum, Sapsifera Zumeral. Uh, that thing is a bit of a threat though, especially for Victini with the huge power. Aqua Jet pretty much stops me from just locking myself into like Blue Flare, Blue Flare, or V Create or something, and just killing shit. So I'll have to watch out for that. I don't see it coming though. That's why you don't see it on your screen because. He knows I have hazard stacking, so I believe he has to bring his Blastoise. And you don't want to—you don't want to double up on water types versus a dude with a fucking Kartana and an Electivire, right? So his third pick was Thunderous, which I believe is definitely coming. And if he slaps a Choice Scarf on this bitch, he's gonna outspeed my Victini by one point, which is going to suck. So even though the spread—I was just kind of dicking around with spread, so don't really pay too much attention. But I do believe the Thunderous is coming, and I think. Either Thunderous or Mamo Swine will be Choice Scarf. I could totally see Choice Scarf Mamo coming, especially with Yuxi being around for rocks. As well as, like, all three of these Pokemon can set rocks, so that's not a big deal. But I do think Thunderous is coming with Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, Thunderbolt, and U-Turn. He does super effective damage versus pretty much my entire team, and can U-Turn out on the likes of Dougie and Electivire, which would otherwise stop its electric attacks. So, I do think he will bring the Thunderous. This thing is a huge threat. 145 special attack is no fucking joke. This thing is gonna... It's gonna 
rip holes through my team if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna go out of my way to make sure I don't lose to Thunderous, hopefully. Also, I usually like uh, I usually do these team builders after the battle's already happened, so I'm already spoiled, but I'm supposed to battle him in like an hour. So this is my untainted mind. I don't know what he's fucking bringing. That's why I think it'll be fun to kind of predict a little bit. And then if he brings exactly these six months, then I don't know. I, gu I guess I should win the battle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but then down to the UU tier, he, his first pick was Infernape, which is an excellent Pokemon, and I think a nasty plot set kind of puts in work against my team. Especially with the Fire Room Z, just to have something, you get a nasty plot, and then like maybe I switch in like a Sylveon or something like I did last time, then Fire Room Z, Fire Blast at plus two just fucking destroys me. Now, he does have to run Timid to be able to outspeed, uh, what was it? I believe my Victini? Yeah, to, to outspeed all my base 100s and stuff. He cannot outspeed Kartana no matter what, because I'm 109 speed, but uh, obviously Vacuum Wave picks me off pretty easily, so I do expect a special attacking Infernape. And if it's not a special attacking Infernape, then it'll probably be Scarf or Bandit or something like that. Just something to come in, hit real hard, you turn out, all that shit. But I think this is definitely the most optimal set versus my team, because uh, Kartana, not really trying to take it. Salamence doesn't want to take HP Ice. Victini, uh, Victini does kind of wall this set, but he could easily run mixed with Earthquake or something, so I can't exactly switch Victini in on this guy, you know. Uh, Doug Trio, if the Sash is broken, will probably go down to a plus two Vacuum Wave. Uh, Beedrill will outspeed, but I don't think... Poison Jab kills him. I, I calced it yesterday, but I don't remember it off the top of my head, frankly. Obviously, in the battle, I will be calcing such things. But uh, Chris is also a very good player, and he has Pat backing him up. So them two together, I'm definitely a little worried. I think he'll know to speed creep and have a little extra bulk. So I think I can account for at least 64 EVs and HP whenever I'm doing my calcs. Then next on his list, he has a Hydreigon which uh, I don't really see coming just because I have a faster dragon that can, if, I, if it's scarfed, I can drop Dracos on it. I can, you know, do all kinds of stuff. Plus, I have a Sylveon, which unless he's running the Iron Tail set, isn't going to be doing too much to me. And uh, if I bring Spadef Alamomola, like I have been pretty much all fucking season, um, he's not going to be doing too much to me. Plus, I told him I was bringing Assault Vest Mirror Coat Alamomola, like way early on in the season, so I know a little part of him is going to be like, fuck, what if it's Assault Vest Alamomola? Mirror code. So, we'll see how that goes. And then next he has Mamoswine. He originally had, I believe, Delmies? Delmies? But, he swapped it out uh, that, that, right before the deadline. And it really did help him versus mine and Nathan's teams. Because Mamoswine is a fucking beast. He needs almost no speed to speed creep like the next slowest thing on my team. We know for damn sure Alamomola ain't running any speed. I believe this speed is just so he can outspeed uh, Sylveon, like in case I wanted to run Choice Specs or something. And like, like, that's nothing. That's no speed. So I know he's going to have a big fucking bulky, probably Adamant, could be Life Orb, Earth Plate, something. He could just run the, the meme Adamant Life Orb Mamoswine, and uh, he can punch holes. And I definitely see this coming, especially because I have the Salamence, which... It's just going to die to 130 base power Ice Shard. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't live unless he's intimidated or if I bring Yachi Berry. And if I am going to bring Salamence, it's probably going to be a Z-move so I can get the Moxie boost and do all that stuff. So, Mamoswine, I think, is definitely coming. It has to come. Like, if it was me, I'd, def I'd bring Mamoswine all day. I'm pretty sure he made the trade just for mine and Nathan's teams in the finals in the late season. But then again, who the fuck knows? These guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> Then down into RU, his first pick was Uxie? Uxie? However you say it, he says Juxie, and it pisses me off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just U turn, Stealth Rock, Psy Shock, and then the uh, last move is kind of uh, a toss up. Could be Knock Off, could be Memento, could be Thunder Wave, could be Toxic. Who knows? But I definitely see these top three coming. He needs a Psychic Stab. Uh, I could see HP Fire as well, or maybe just Psychic to hit my Kartana on the special side. And then just. Not a lot of pressure on the special side from my team, so he can basically just invest in straight fucking defensive EVs on all his stuff and pretty much be good to go, which is unfortunate because my only special attackers are the possibility of Kartana, I mean, <laughs> definitely not Kartana, the possibility of special Mints and Victini, 
And then if not, then it's going to be Sylveon. Electivire is another mixed Pokemon. Uh, Sigalyph is special, but that's not doing much. And then Amistar is also special, but most of my threats are physical. So I do see on his defensive mons, his walls, quote unquote, because who needs reliable recovery anyways? He's in the finals, though. I can't talk shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so he can just go 252, 252, and then pretty much just wall the shit out of something. Uh, if he is max max with Rocky Helmet, I believe U-Turn does about 75%, if I remember the calc. And then I'm going to take the chip, and, uh, you know, I'm going to be weaker to rocks. After a rock switch in, plus some Rocky Helmet, I can no longer live in Ice Shard, so or a Bullet Punch. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. i got to watch out for that. Maybe just click Knock Off Turn 1, and hope for the best? I don't know. He could also have the, uh, the Bug Resist Berry. That would be pretty tight, because then he would take, like, nothing from the U-turn, be able to get up his rocks basically for free, and then still have enough health to live a hit from something, from whatever I bring in. So we'll see. Um, then he has x -Plowed, which is, I was in another league with them, uh, and Dai, I believe, back in the day? I think I uploaded a couple battles from it, but x is, like, his fucking favorite thing. He loves running it, uh like choice and then running taunt on it and stuff they're fucking goofy motherfuckers but with boom burst plus like flamethrower he can pretty much run through my team so if he wants to bring that i could see it but i, I just don't you know you talk about like four move slot syndrome uh, syndrome he has like six pokemon syndrome like i don't know because if you take out the if you bring in the x cloud then you have to take out one of these pokemon that do a bunch of work to my team so not expecting x cloud but it could definitely come, so I'm prepared for it just in case. Then next we have Blastoise, which I definitely see coming, and again, he can just go max max defense, hidden power fire kills me with zero, he could be fucking like zero IVs, <laughs> jolly, and probably still kill me. And then Scald, you know, it's Scald Toxic for my Alamomola, probably Amistar, Salamence, things like that. He could also run Ice Beam and Roar, but I kind of see this set doing more work. I don't know if he would want to stay in and scald on my uh, on my Kartana, but he can run good old Rendo Berry, and that's gonna do. It's gonna make it to where I don't two hit KO him, which is gonna suck because I died HP Fire, so I kind of have to catch him on a switch in or something with something else, and then hopefully I'll see leftovers or I'll see Rocky Helmet, and he won't have the Rendo because this bitch ass Blastoise can run counter and Mirror Coat as well. And I know Chris is a shysty motherfucker, and he loves doing stuff like that. So I can't I can't count out the fact that he will have some kind of crazy weird stuff like that. And then his last two Pokemon are Ditto and Eevee. And I don't see Ditto or Eevee coming. He brought Eevee last time, and that was... It just did not work out for him at all. I think you bring uh, Eevee versus... Uh, like a less competent player, and you just set up and sweep, or you wall break, or something. I believe he did just that with Andrew, even though Andrew is pretty competent. But then, Ditto is something that I could see coming as well. But then again, you know, what's he going to take out to bring the Ditto? Because it could be Choice Scarf. It has to be Choice Scarf or like Sash. But he knows I have hazards, so he will probably bring Choice Scarf if he brings it. It's almost guaranteed. So. I can't really bring any setup mons, <laughs> or he's just going to beat me with my own Pokemon. As if you watched their channel, you saw they did just that with Dai. He had a Porygon Z, and Z converted, and then they sent out Ditto, and then they swept his entire fucking team. Like, he ran out of PP before they ran, before Dai ran out of Pokemon, but at that point it was already too late. But that's his team. Uh, you know, it's been on the screen for a minute now. You already saw that shit. But, just to go over it one more time. Uxie, defensive. Rocks, uh, some kind of support moves, U-turn, all that stuff. I think it's coming. Mega Medic Gross, almost max speed, I think is the best bet. Or possibly, you know, rock polish or agility, whatever it does. But, I think it's going to be something along this move set. I could definitely see this. Then again, if he is worried about my Celements, he will bring Ice Punch. But I haven't necessarily been bringing that a lot, so I don't know if he'll cover that because Meteor Mash is still going to do a lot. Infernape, special, confirmed, if not mixed, then uh, I, I think I think this is going to be a good Z-Move mod for him this game, but we shall see. Uh, yeah, 
nasty plot, three attacks, maybe just uh, maybe just four attacks with like a life orb or something. We'll see, but I think uh, I think vacuum wave and Hidden power ice are definitely coming. Then, like I said, Blastoise, Torrent. Uh, yeah, he's brought Rain Dance, Rain Dish before, which would be pretty wacky to help shut down my Victini. But uh, I do have Amistar, so he probably won't want to bring Rain versus a guy with a Swift Swim user that hits hard, very hard. Um, Mamoswine, some kind of, it'll be adamant max attack, pretty much guaranteed, and then the rest can be bulk, he can go scarf with it, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be hard to see, I'll have to look at the, the composure of his team whenever I get team preview and I'll kind of have to assess what I think it's going to be, but I think this spread with I guess, <laughs> Icicle Spear to break sashes and whatnot, especially on Sigalith, if he is like Scarf or something, I could definitely see that. Ice Shard obviously for Salamence, and then Earthquake, and then Knock Off. I could, you know, he could run Super Power maybe for something. Uh, I'm looking at my team right now, I don't even know what it would be for. Maybe Cartana, but at that point you probably just want an Earthquake, I don't know. But he has a couple other options. And then, in my opinion, the biggest threat on his team, the Thunderous, this thing is for sure coming, and I hope to god it is not Choice Scarf, because that thing is going to run through me. So, by that logic, it will probably be Choice Scarf. So with that, we'll get into my team. Halfway done, guys, yay! Starting things off with my oh shit button. I can't get swept. Like, I fucking can't. So, if he wants to bring Ditto and copy my Beast Boosted... Uh, Cartana, then I have, I have this in the back just in case. Just in case. Um, hopefully it doesn't come to that, but if it does, I have it. I don't have any two hit moves on any of my Pokemon, so no matter what, I, this will stop a Ditto sweep. This will also stop a Rock Polish Mega Metagross sweep. A, uh, if I lose all my fast Pokemon somehow, which is all of them except for Alamomola, um, It'll stop Thunderous, you know, maybe, uh, if he does bring Eevee and Eva boost with it, I, I checked, I made sure that thing gets no double hit moves, and I can just whirlwind that little fucker right out, and then it's just a regular Eevee with no boosts, and it's easily killed, so that'll be dang. So, Shadow Ball for just, you know, Mega Metagross type shit, fucking Yuxi as well, and then, uh, E ditto if it is me. So that'll be nice. Energy Ball for the Blastoise as well as the Azu. Because it'll also hit Mamo super effectively without having to run Heat Wave and rest the Thick Fat with the Oblivious, all that bullshit. And uh, I think I already said Blastoise, but for Blastoise as well. And then Dazzling Gleam, just in case he does. I don't see Hydreigon coming. I don't think. Just because, like I said, you know, he has to swap out one of those other mods for it. But just in case it does and he's Scarf or something, and as long as he doesn't flinch me with Dark Pulse, then I will kill him with Dazzling Gleam. That's about it for this guy, he's literally just an oh shit button. He does the same shit every week, and uh, he's damn good at it, really. It's like having a Sash Zam, but in RU, which is dope. So, then we have, I actually changed it from Kanichiwa to Ryoku because it reminds me of Kill La Kill when it's shiny. So. Him and his little scissor blades are down there. We have Choice Scarf Jolly Victini with max attack. A little bit in defense just in case it helps me live fucking something. I don't know. But uh, we have U-Turn, V-Create, and Bolt Strike, which do super effective damage to just about everything on his team. And when I say super effective damage, V-Create is basically super effective on everything that isn't water type because it is so fucking strong. So, uh, yeah. V-Create is going to do a lot, that'll help me break some of his bigger defensive Pokemon, and that'll Oko Metagross, it'll Oko Thunderous, pretty sure it Okos. Not that bulky spread that I made up, but if he does bring the Scarf Mamoswine, then it will Oko that. Uh, Bolt Strike for Blastoise, as well as Azumarill. Um, and then U-Turn just to get on out of there, and Taunt, because I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be my designated lead. I don't want him to get rocks up, so I took a page out of the Australian book and put Taunt on my Scarf Mons. So, I hope you're watching this, and I hope you're proud of me, guys, because I, you know, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> then next, we have what I'm hoping to be the Wincon. So, my plan with this is run the Choppleberry, and just enough HP 
to where Vacuum Wave will not kill me. And then I have four attacks to do major damage. I'm saluting major damage. Shoutouts to How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> and I can just I can just run through his team. If I get up rocks and get some U-turn damage on some shit from my two very strong Pokemon that have U-turn, get that turn turn core, then uh, this thing should be set to sweep. He'll bring in Infernape thinking like, oh, okay, well now I just gotta click Vacuum Wave. Then I live and I kill him with a Psycho Cut. Uh, I was gonna run Return just because it helps a little bit with Pokemon like Hydreigon, but it's just, it, I, I don't do enough damage with Return or Frustration, so it has to be Psycho Cut. So we got all the coverage on this guy. I'm hoping that Akame can get some more kills. This is, it got so many fucking kills this season, man. Like, I am I am so hyped. This is my first pick. I wanted Tapu Lele so bad, but I'm actually kind of glad it was Akame. That's, that's Bay right there. I don't even like saying that, but that's Bay. <laughs> then, our one defensive Pokemon is going to be Mega Love Disc, with just enough special defense to not die. Pretty sure it still dies to Thunderous. I think I have a chance to live it if it's, like, not boosting item or any way, if he's just, like, Scarf or something. So, 100 just to take special hits a little bit better. And then Rocky Helmet, as well as almost max defense and max HP, so that... Mega Metagross can't just sit there and fire off Meteor Mashes and, like, sub up on me and whatnot. And then I also have Magic Coat, just in case I ever end up in a this versus Blastoise or, uh, or Uxie matchup. Then I can Magic Coat, they will Toxic themselves, I can get the fuck out of there, do whatever I want, I can burn stuff with Scald, I can wish up my own team, and, hopefully, if all goes right, I love me some Healing Wish Alamomola. So... Maybe I accidentally let Victini get a little too weakened, something like that. Then I can just wish that motherfucker right back up and be good to go. Then we have uh, the MVP or MVB, I guess I should say, of the last time I played him. Even though I think Diggy got the coolest kill. But uh, this thing just puts so much offensive pressure on his team. It, it, it Jesus Christ, it just okos almost everything with its dual stab. And you're looking at the set, and you're like, Shaden, I know you misclicked and put Defog instead of, like, Knockoff or something, but no, that's not what happened. I can't bring him on top. It's too much liability. It gives in too many free switches to other shit. So I'll have to use my offensive pressure from this thing, and if I really don't want Rocks up that bad, I will click Defog. Like, if I know he's going to switch, I'll Defog. Whatever. I don't care. Um, X Scissor, just so... If he's in with Mega Metagross and I need to kill it, then maybe I don't uh, I don't want to take rocks again or something. I can do a little bit more damage and hit it with the nice uh, uh, fucking adaptability, adamant, X scissor, and uh, not have to switch out and take rocks again. Then poison jab, because dual stab, you know, it it actually has a chance to kill Thunderous if it has no defensive investment. So that's fucking crazy. It's like it's like right at the fifty percent split, I believe, if I'm adamant. So We'll see. I only need 100 speed to outspeed uh, Mega Metagross, which does hit 350 with his 110 speed. So I, I'm guaranteed to outspeed everything on his team, barring Scarfers. So we will see which Pokemon has to be his Scarfer. This guy should put in a lot of work. I gotta keep him healthy. I gotta keep Brock's off the field, and I might have to make a couple plays. But this guy is looking like he's gonna he's gonna help out a lot. Then last, but definitely not least, we literally have the exact same Doug Trio we brought last time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Don't fucking fix it. Don't do any of that. Don't tinker with it. Don't fix it. I actually did tinker with it a little bit. I think I have Stone Edge instead of uh, Memento, but that's just so we can hit Thunderous. And I also have Sucker Punch just because it did come in handy last time. If I can find an opportunity to get up rocks with this guy, I'll, fu I'll, I'll fucking try, but... It's not looking likely. I'm hoping that I can bounce them back with the, uh, the magic coat, but that's also looking unlikely. So, Stealth Rock, iffy. Earthquake plus Ground DMC definitely kills Mega Metagross unless he is, like, the bulkiest fucking Mega... If he has to be, like, like, impish 252 HP fucking, like, almost... He has to have some defense, and then... Yeah, so we just... We gotta hope he's not that... Or maybe I can get a U-turn off on it, assess the damage, see what his set's going to be, and then kill with this guy. Now, 
I didn't even bring Sylveon, and that was the whole point. Is the last time I I I master baited him into uh, <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I baited him with the Sylveon basically to get in the Metagross so I could come in and kill it with Dougie, but this time that is not going to work. I might have to pull a double or something along those lines to be able to get that same scenario. But um, this guy can kill Mega Metagross. S this guy can kill Mega Metagross with V Create. You can kill Mega Metagross um, with Night Slash. I think it does like 43% minimum. And LB can kill uh, Mega Metagross. Obviously, it has to be weakened for Akame as well as Beedrill, but I believe X Scissor does about 55, maybe 60 ish. If he, again, if he's straight offensive. So, I do have. I do have options to do stuff and kill him, and we'll see. And this HP investment, it's, it's literally just I dumped the, what I didn't need in speed into HP, but it does let me live a bullet punch as well as a ice shard, or rocks and an ice shard, or rocks and a bullet punch, but not the combination of all three. So I have to keep that in mind. And I think I usually make them shiny, but I'm kind of feeling old school in this one. And uh, like I said, yeah, Diggy Smalls, again with the 80 HP, it lets me live one bullet punch, not one ice shard. <laughs> so, uh, this thing is guaranteed to kill Mega Metagross, again, if he's not super fucking bulky. And we'll see. Um, I outspeed everything on his team. Everything. And, uh, obviously not investing in HP, just investing in defense does leave me a little bit weak to that special fucking Infernape, but I think I have answers to that respectively so hopefully all goes as planned and that's going to be the team this is going to be the in-depth team builder i hope you guys don't fucking hate it too much i'm not going to do this too often but i did feel the need to do it for this match because it's the finals you know it's important we've been working hard all season putting in that work killing shit sweeping with cartana sweeping with beedrill doing all that shit so i did just want to do this you know just for you guys for me uh, if you've been pretending to be Chris the whole time, and I, I really appreciate that, because I, I, I know how hard it is to get that fucking Cockney accent out of your brain. But, uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe and do all that bullshit to support the Dallas Starmies, as well as me, Shaquaza. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye forever.